Well, until recently, we have it was mainly on economical side. You know, this was a big uh, reason for us to join. It's important for the normal people. It's important uh, to finance the country. So it was economical. But I think the recent events, and this was also one of the subjects today here downstairs, is that people are more and more worried about the security threats. So this uh, subject has gained a lot of uh, support in Finland. And since we are not into NATO, and we don't want to go into NATO now, or ever, that remains to be seen, people look at the EU cooperation also as a security provider. Cooperation in or is general, I don't think we have very much appetite for deeper integration, okay. unless it's absolutely necessary. For example, in social questions, which was one of the topics yeah. of the white paper, or commission contributions, we are very hesitant because it's national competence, we want to keep it as a national competence, mm -hmm. and we don't want to be uh, uh, in enlarge the EU competence. So, in general, there is not appetite for that now. Okay. But there are specific things like this economic and security, maybe in limited amount in, in some other fields, but people are very much in a, let's see if it works, if it works, let's not change it. Okay. And for the time being, I mean, we think EU is working if everybody would be doing what they're supposed to do. I think it's so actually social affairs questions. Okay. I mean, my country has been through an economical crisis. It mm -hmm. has nothing to do with compared with some other crises mm -hmm. in Europe. But our economy has been uh, growing too slow. Mm -hmm. There is growing unemployment and there has been big frustration, why don't we get this economy back and running. So we started, this government started doing a lot of social reforms, uh, regional reforms, and, and this has been very much on top of the domestic agenda, both for the politicians but and also for the people. So actually the EU questions as such has been maybe a bit less talked about until the recent year or so. The big thing about Brexit is not only that EU is losing a big partner, but Finland is losing a big partner because we were very much on the same line with the cutting red tape, better regulation and less regulation, mm -hmm. Uh, respect uh, the, the free trade mm -hmm. rules and, and making new treaties, uh, keeping Europe open and uh, you know, enlargement policy. So there were very many mm -hmm. fields where we lose a partner. So what we have to do is find new partners. And it's quite interesting phenomenon if we look around our traditional allies, you know, not the UK because they are leaving, but uh, Netherlands, Ireland, uh, Sweden, Denmark, maybe even Germany, you know, they all looking for new partners. Yeah. So now if there is a wake-up call in, in all European uh, countries and it's not against anybody, it's just that the constellation is changing and everybody has to reposition themselves. Mm. My opinion is that I'm not convinced that uh, role of the EU, EU, EU Parliament, European Parliament is, is right. It's, it's really, um, they're getting more and more powers all the time. I'm not sure how coherent their decision-making procedures are and, and uh, in whose, whose field or to whose goal they, they play. But this is my own personal mm -hmm. opinion, so I hope it's not quoted no, okay. anywhere. Otherwise, um, I think the, the treaties are okay, the structures are okay. Actually, what is not okay is that we make decisions, we make good decisions, and they are not implemented. This is what we saw in Greek case. This is what we see in, in migration things. This is what we see in, in many of the internal market mm -hmm. single files or energy files. So it's, it's um, no, we don't need new structures, we don't need new procedures, we don't need new treaties. We just have to look in the mirror and start doing what we are supposed to do.